In this episode, you'll learn how to use Gradle with Kotlin build files. And that doesn't mean you're going to build Kotlin source code, but rather you're going to replace the build.gradle Groovy files with Kotlin files. So let's get started right away. I prepared a sample Gradle project for you, and it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's a simple Java project, has one Hello World class, which does nothing but print out the string Hello World. And the only thing worth mentioning is that I'm using a Gradle wrapper of the latest Gradle version, which is 4.5 at the point of the recording of the screencast. You can also use 4.4, but make sure not to use old Gradle versions like 3. Point something. And also another note, you should make sure to use the latest IntelliJ IDEA with the latest Kotlin plugin to not run into any problems later on. Now let's have a quick look at the settings.gradle file, and you can see it's empty. And the build.gradle file is also rather simple, and you can see it's simply a Java project, Java version set to 1.8, and the JUnit dependency. Now to get started with Kotlin, you need to rename the build.gradle file and the settings.gradle file to files which are groovy files at the moment to become Kotlin script files. And you can do that easily by suffixing them with the KTS extension. Then do the same for the settings.gradle file. Good, now obviously your Kotlin script file will have some compile errors because Groovy isn't valid Kotlin, but you can easily fix that and leave in the dependencies and repositories block because they look somewhat okay and we'll get to them in a second. But you can delete the apply plugin Java line and also the source compatibility lines. And then instead write plug and hit control space and wait for the autocomplete pop-up to pop up. And you'll see, uh-huh, it suggests you to use a plugins block. And inside, just write JA. And again, you get an autocomplete for Java, exactly what you want. So it applies to plugin Java. And what you can do is you can try to delete the A, for example, and you'll get some compile error because it's not valid. And that's great. So what you can see already is you get auto completion and you get compile errors if you specify the wrong option. Good. Now onto the Java block and the versions. So simply write Java. And as you can see, you get a compile error. And it's a bit unfortunate at the moment because it's actually valid. And sometimes it just helps if you rebuild the project. And you can see now after the rebuild, everything is fine and valid. So make sure to do that from time to time. Then you can again, try to simply write source, do an autocomplete, and you'll see source compatibility, right? And if you remember correctly in our GUI file, we could simply write 1.8 and 1.9. And now we get a compile error saying, well, a floating point literal is not of type Java version. So in here instead, you have to put Java version dot, and again, you'll see autocompletes. So choose Java version 1.8. And the same for target compatibility. Again, use Java version 1.8 or the version of your liking. Now onto the dependencies block. And as you can see, the compile wasn't an error. We just simply fixed it by rebuilding our project. But if you want to make sure, just delete the L for example, and you'll see indeed it's called compile. And if you want to, you can also play around with say test compile and using the auto suggestions there. Last but not least, you'll have the repositories block. And again, you can see there's the JCenter repository in there, but you can also again do an autocomplete for Maven and you'll see you can specify your own Maven repository, use the predefined Maven central, Maven local repositories, whatever you like really. Now comes the moment of truth. Make sure the Kotlin files compiles and then open up a terminal window. And inside your terminal window, just do a Gradle clean build. And then you'll see the build executes and the build is successful. And just remember you have no more build.gradle files in Groovy, but the whole build just changed to Kotlin Gradle files. Congratulations, you now know how to use Gradle together with Kotlin files. And in this episode, you learned all the basics, how to create a simple Java project, 
what the auto completion and auto suggestions do and the compile errors and whatnot. And in the next episode, you'll learn how to build a more complex Gradle project. So let's get right after that.